んだって今までなんかお顔を見せくださらなかったんですけど今日やっておいていただきました鳥山明さん今日のお客様ですどうもこんにちはよくいらしてくださいました You might be wondering who is this skinny, four eyed looking otaku and why is he on a TV show? Well, to answer the question, he is Akira Toriyama, or better known as the author of Dragon Ball. Now you know who he is, but what you most likely didn't know is he was once an absolute failure who lives in his parents' basement and struggled to survive in the manga industry. This begs the question how does an absolute loser like him become the godfather of shonen manga, a role model for countless mangaka? Well, you found out in this episode of Mangaka's Journey. So, we are for the Taku, hit my intro farm. Before I begin today's video, I just want to get something out of my chest. Recently, a role model that I look up to a lot h a v e unfortunately passed away in a, her- in a helicopter crash. <sighs> Rest in peace, Kobe, Gigi, and the companion. I-, I don't know what to say as the news still seems surreal to me. But in the honor of Kobe Bryant and to pay Tribute to Kobe. I want to say thank you, Kobe, for your 20 years of excellence. And I will strive forward in my life, paying honor to the Mamba mentality. Thank you, Kobe. Hashtag Mamba's out. The story begins on the 5th of April 1955. A young boy named Akira Toriyama was born in a small village within the Nagoya town and Aichi prefecture of Japan, a historically rich city that gave birth to many legends, include Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and it is well known for their delicious gourmet Hitsumabushi, aka freshly grilled eel on rice. Ever since a really young age, Toriyama has a deep interest in drawing. He loves drawing animal, anime, and manga as his hobby due to the lack of entertainment in a small village. His gift for art was quickly noticed by the teacher, and we often find him winning prizes at local art studios, such as his work on 101 Down Mansion. Speaking of entertainment, Toriyama loved watching anime and Disney movies during his childhood. Two of the most prominent influences include Astro Boy by Osumu Tezuka and 101 Down Mansion by Walt Disney. These two animations have left a huge impact on Toriyama's heart. It has sparked his creativity, teaching him art is only limited by your imagination, and it has ignited his love towards animation. Following his passion towards art, Toriyama has landed a job on the advertising agency in Nagoya. Designing poster for the company. After three years of high labor work, he had enough of this low paying, high intense, boring job and he finally called it quits. Being a young adult in the early 20s, Toriyama knew he needs to find a job quick in order to survive in this harsh society. One day, fate being fate, Toriyama saw the prize money for the amateur monthly Young Jump manga contest. He jumped on that opportunity and submitted his first manga, Awara World, in 1977. He thought with his experience and years of drawing art would easily land him the top place and it would be easy money. But he was completely wrong. The manga industry is a completely different beast and he failed miserably. But a young 25 year old mangaka editor named Katsuhiko Torishima saw his work and wrote him an encouragement letter, pushing him to continue drawing manga. Little did they know, 
this encounter would later yield multiple masterpieces and change the landscape of the manga industry forever. The following year, Toriyama tried his luck again with Mysterious Rain Jack for the monthly Young Drum Award, but he took another L. However, he has used these two failures as learning experience and the help from Katsuhiko who later became his editor, Toriyama have finally been able to come up with Wonder Island as his debut manga on Shonen Jump in 1978. The manga centers around World War II pirate getting stuck on Wonder Island for 35 years and his journey in returning to Japan. It is a comedic manga with many sitcom jokes and it was quite well received as a one shot. Following the success with Wonder Island, Toriyama finally had a small bite of success and he's determined to have more. He published Wonder Island 2 in 1978. He then followed up with today's Highlight Island and Tomato Girl Detective in the following year 1979. Many suspect the inspiration for a female protagonist for Tomato Girl Detective from the work of Urusai Yatsura by Romiko Takahashi, but unfortunately none of these yield any good result. All of these one shots have provided valuable learning experience for Toriyama and he has built a strong foundation of storytelling and comedy for his next work. Akira Toriyama had enough of the countless L he took since he started his career in 1977. He spent countless of hours honing his craft for an industry that has yet to give him any opportunity and chance for the last 4 years. He has been living in his parents' house as a broke adult in his 20s, chasing his dream like a true entrepreneur, believing deep inside his heart that one day he will make it, having faith that his manga will entertain millions of people and that determination and will of never giving up has finally allowed the god of manga to give him a chance. The year is 1980, four years after his initial start in the manga career, Akira Toriyama finally got his chance to serialize with Dr. Slump. This manga centers around the humorous journey between the little android robotic lolly, Aralel, and her mad scientist creator Senbei in the bizarre penguin village. The series is extremely well received since day one debut as the number 2 place in the magazine's reader popularity vote. Dr. Slump has many sick con that theme with sexual inadules and many <laughs> jokes. Not like literally, Toriyama just drew some poo poo and made jokes out of that. This <laughs> is so popular it inspires the creation of the poo emoji that we use a lot when we have some spicy dirty curry takeaway. One of the core themes in Dr. Slum is its unique creativity. Toriyama drew anything he can think of, stretching the limit of imagination. You want Kamehameha half on the mouth? Here you go. You want aliens? Here you go. You want time traveler? Take it mate. Oh, you want some parodies on top of that? We got you covered. Such creativity never failed to amaze the audience. The readers simply don't know what to expect, yet they're extremely excited to read the next chapter, and this feeling made them want it more every single week. Another important element I need to point out is the creation of Penguin Village Grand Prix and Kick the Can contest. It is believed that these two events are so popular amongst the reader, it later inspired the famous Tenkaichi Butokai, aka World Martial Art Tournament. Some interesting facts that you guys might not have noticed is many characters are based on real life people, such as his assistant, but the most intriguing one of all is the fact that the main antagonist, Dr. Mashiruto, is actually based on his editor, Katsuhiko Torishima, aka the same guy who wrote him the encouragement letter back when he made Awawa World. I bet you Katsula treated Toriyama like the way Yoshida treated Hilamaru in Bakuman. 
The comedic element plus creative imagination mixed with unique events and interesting character design with a touch of American West Coast theme made Dr. Slum extremely popular in the Shonen Jump magazine. The manga is so successful it landed Toriyama the Shogakugan Award for the best Shonen and Shoujo manga in 1981. The following year, Toriyama married the love of his life, Yoshimi Kato, in 1982, a fellow female mangaka under the pen name Nachi Mikami. She often helped Toriyama out when he struggles to meet the seven-day deadline. The reason behind this is Akira Toriyama does everything himself in a short weekly basis. Although Doctor Slum is extremely popular, Toriyama is still a broke mangaka who lives with his parents at home and barely manages to make ends meet. Hence, he doesn't have spare money to hire a system, and he has to do everything himself until he start making money later on. His career. He basically produced the whole manga by himself in a tight weekly time frame, and he continued with this madness until he formed the Burst Studio in 1983. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Toriyama is nuts for that. To give some context, Oda, the author of One Piece, have around five assistants that helping on the background, and Toriyama on the flip side does everything himself. What a fucking legend, man! This is the definition of real entrepreneur, like Bill Gates making Microsoft in his basement back in the day, and people who just grind through struggle for the dream of one day becoming successful. The popularity of Doctor Slum reached a whole new level when the anime aired from 1981 to 1985. It was so popular that Toei Animation later remastered it in 1997. You might be wondering how popular is Doctor Slum? To give some context and number, the anime has a ridiculous 36.9 percent average household rating, and one episode in 16th of December 1981 made history with one of the highest single anime episode rating. It is still the third most watched anime in history. A rating that is so ridiculous that no other shonen anime has ever come close to. There is no endless festival, and the popularity of Doctor Slum has decreased over time. By 1984, Toriyama wants to place a full stop to the series, but he has faced with many opposition from the Shonen Jump magazine, as they want to keep the popular series going. In the end, Toriyama managed to persuade them to allow him to end the show in 1984, but that comes with a price, under a condition, and that is for Toriyama to create the next big hit within three months. And that is extremely difficult for any mangaka to do that, considering the achievement of Doctor Slum. During the four-year run, Doctor Slump had managed to defeat many legendary shows like Cat's Eyes and Captain Tsubasa to become the Uno number one in Shonen Jump magazine. No one has ever thought that a broke twenty-year-old with a unique art style who got rejected countless amount of time would eventually become the best manga artist in the Shonen Jump magazine with a comedy manga. Not even Toriyama himself would believe that. By 2008, over 35 millions of Doctor Slump has been sold, averaging 1.9 million copies sold per volume, which is an extremely impressive feat, placing Toriyama's work on the same level as other iconic manga like Sailor Moon and Nana. Doctor Slump anime is also widely considered as one of the best comedy anime back in the 1980s and 1990s, with two different anime series. And 11 different movies. Doctor Slum is quite well received internationally as well, with many positive feedbacks, including Mike To of Anime News Network called Doctor Slum the greatest manga of all time. And the best part is that it's just the beginning of Toriyama's legacy. You might be wondering. How the heck can he get better? He's already the iconic mangaka of Japan, and he's also the number one manga artist of Shonen Jump magazine already. Well, you'll find out next time.
and we are done for now. As I was writing the script, I just realized how much contents and research there are for Toriyama Sensei. I don't want to make a 40 minute YouTube video, so I have decided to split this series into half. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, smash the like button for your boy Wajitaku. And the more likes we get, the quicker I will release part 2 of Akira Toriyama's journey. You guys stay safe and stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.